format. I have a drawing that I've worked on or a scan that I've worked on uh, in the last couple of videos and where I've done a grid scan on a vertical surface and I've done a grid scan on a sloped surface. Um, and now I want to save and export this so that I can take a look at it in my AutoCAD environment. So the best thing to do to save is to hit the home button at the top. Now that we've done, we're done with our scan, or we want to, we're at a point where we would like to save. So we're going to come up and hit the home button, and it's going to ask us if we would like to save as. And we're going to say please. It comes up with a this uh, select folder window. This isn't the this isn't the place where you're actually saving the file. This is where you would either create a folder, a new folder or you would select an existing folder that, of something that you've already done. So I want to create a new folder, something that I suggest because then it eliminates the, um, the issue of over, you know, saving over a file or something like that. So I'm going to create a new folder. It comes up with a default name or a stock kind of number name. I'm going to rename this to... Oops. Let's do... Video demo 0512 version 1 v1 and click OK. Now it's created the folder, which is automatically selected, and I'm going to hit the checkbox. And now it's asking me to enter the file name. And typically, I name the folder and the file name the same, unless I'm doing multiple rooms. Um, so we'll do video demo. 12, oops, not 12, uh, not December, May 12th, and we are going to do version 1. Click OK. Now the file has been saved, but it's not yet exported. So to export, we're going to go to the drop down menu and go to File Manager. And what's nice about this software is it automatically selects the last folder we were in. And because we were just in that uh, video demo 512, uh, we just have to hit this DXF uh, DWG CSV export button. Looks a little bit different in the version 5 software. Version 4 is similar. It's just got a folder with a red, uh, a red arrow. And now that we've exported it, uh, we're going to go to the spot where it is saved, which if you downloaded the software, um, it's going to give you a 3D Disto data folder. You're going to select that shortcut, and you're going to go to the exports, and you're going to go to the folder that we just saved, which is this video demo. And here are the files that we've exported. Uh, six different file types, uh, a bunch of three, a bunch of DXF files, a DWG file, a CSV file, and a text file. We'll go over those in another video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, again, my name is Adam with AdvancedDimensions.com. Thanks for watching.